Hey guys, here today with a quick haul. This is just going to be a little video on a few books that have come into my life since the last time I did a haul. There isn't a lot here but some of them have been sitting there for a while but I just wanted to film this because there are definitely a couple of books here that I want to read sometime soon and I don't tend to read books before I've hauled them because they're sitting apart from everything else waiting for me to show you guys. So there are a couple of secondhand books here, a couple of gifts um, as well as a few conscious purchases. So I think we'll actually start off with the three books that I've purchased because I want to read them sometime soon. The first of which is Don't Tell Alfred by Nancy Mitford. I read The Pursuit of Love for the first time last month and actually still got it sitting here. And when I purchased this originally, I also got Love in a Cold Climate, but I didn't get Don't Tell Alfred, which is the third in the trilogy of sorts. So I wanted to get the matching edition of this. I love these watercolor design covers. They are beautiful. So I just wanted to make sure I ordered this before it's not available. You never really know how long an edition will be easy to find. Since I did enjoy The Pursuit of Love so much, I really did want to pick up this little volume. I also picked up a copy of A Single Man by Christopher Isherwood. I own a couple of other Isherwoods and I haven't read him yet. I really want to. I don't exactly know where I want to start, but I knew I wanted this and I really did like this little edition when I saw it recently. So happy to add this to my collection. And a book that I am definitely excited to read sometime soon is This Beauty. This is 101 Artists to Listen to Before You Die. And this is by Richard Cavallo. And I just think this is a beautiful piece. I think there might be others in this kind of same set. I know there's definitely at least a film one, which I may get in the future, but I definitely wanted to start out with this one. The end papers are album illustrations, which is just beautiful. And then inside it goes through the 101 artists lists and each is a double page spread like this, where there is a full page illustration of the band as well as a little write up on them. I thought the art in this was stunning and the list includes a lot of bands and artists that are already really close to my heart that mean a lot to me, like the Libertines, the Arctic Monkeys, Bob Dylan, Frank Sinatra. I just could not pass this up. It is a beautiful piece and I am looking forward to actually going through it and reading it and taking in the artwork properly. It is just lovely. I also picked up this little Ravenclaw edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone because I couldn't resist. I would actually like the entire series in the Ravenclaw edition since I think they are beautiful. They've got the blue on the pages and I'm pretty sure this was on sale at Big W for under $10 when I found it so I couldn't resist although I am tempted by the hardcovers so I don't know, but this happens. My lovely friend Lee also picked up uh, two books when she was at a book fair recently, which was so sweet of her. She picked me up this little Pooh Dictionary by A.R. Melrose, and it just goes through the alphabet with little references to Pooh Bear and certain words that aren't necessarily words. Um, we've got Herible in here, which is an adjective and it's a descriptive term for a heffalump. We've got goodbye and thank you for a nice time, which is correctly polite final words. The very least comment any polite guest should make on departing, whether the visit was enjoyable or not. So this is just super adorable and I'm really pleased to have it. And Lee is a master at finding me books that I don't already own. She is some kind of wizard, clearly. So she also picked me up a Woodhouse that I don't already have and haven't read. So this is The Clicking of Cuthbert. And I am always very happy to add to my Woodhouse collection. So this is great. And I also picked up a couple of secondhand books for myself recently. Um, I found this little thing. This is Walt Disney's Goofy in Giant Trouble. And it's just a little storybook filled with color illustrations. Um, but it is super dated and un-PC. So here's an illustration of Pete on a boat with some guns. Um, so I couldn't leave this behind. It's just a weird little piece of history. So there's that. I also picked up this pretty little volume of Shelley's poems. It's a reprint of earlier editions and it's from 1898. It was inexpensive. I've been looking for a collection of Shelley for a while and I quite liked this one and it was definitely very nice for the price. So I'll add that to my little vintage book collection. And that is it. That is everything that I have picked up in the past 
month or two. Haven't been doing a great deal of book shopping, but I do plan on doing Children's Literature Month again in November, so uh, I will probably pick up a few new titles for that at some point. I hope you enjoyed seeing those books anyway. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you soon.